H2 Innovation Lab is here demonstrating a unique but revolutionary self-sustaining energy technology. This test is designed to determine the energy efficiency of the technology using a small-scale demonstration unit. Here is a technician to explain the test setup viewed in this CCTV footage. The data lodged power supply inputs electricity to the galvanic enhanced electrolyzer which generates hydrogen gas to fuel the PEM fuel cell. The output of the fuel cell is connected to an electronic load test device to apply a load and measure the output power. The fuel cell is giving us a method of measuring and comparing the energy generated from the hydrogen generator by converting the gas back into electricity. The fuel cell also enables a proven method of confirming the purity of the hydrogen gas since a PEM fuel cell requires 99.99% pure hydrogen to deliver a stable output voltage. Oxygen in the supply causes erratic 10 volt variations. The gas line pressure gauge indicates the level of consumption versus production. When the gauge is relatively stable, it indicates the output load measurement is true. We have a dedicated camera on the gauge, enabling the viewer to monitor it during the test. At some point in this demonstration, the fuel cell output reaches 1.7 amps at 47 volts, equaling 80 watts of electricity for an input of only 49 watts. To calculate the amount of energy generated by the electrolyzer under test, we must factor in the 60% fuel cell energy loss. Yes, the fuel cell used to convert hydrogen back into electricity is only 40% efficient. Therefore, divide the output 80 watts by 0.4, which equates to 200 watts of usable hydrogen energy for the 40 watts of input electrical energy. That's an energy gain of 400%. Even if the fuel cell was 100% efficient, the displayed output readings are still higher than the input. How is that possible? Energy is not being created, which is impossible, but rather two energies are being transformed and combined into a greater energy. It's as simple as 1 plus 9 equals 10. To illustrate, you may think that an automotive alternator generates power from kinetic energy only. However, that is not the case. There is in fact two energies needed for the alternator to generate the electricity to power a car. The bulk of the energy is kinetic, but this will not work without the second electrical energy. From the perspective of input versus output electrical energy, there is an energy gain of 16. This is achieved by combining energies. The input electrical energy transforms to a magnetic energy to convert the kinetic energy into electrical energy. The combination of energies causes a greater output electrical energy than the input electrical energy. I see. Therefore, in the H2IL Galvanic Enhanced Electrolysis Technology, the galvanic energy parallels the kinetic energy of the alternator. The usable input electrical energy parallels the alternator's input electrical energy. Correct. Because there are two electrical energies combined in the H2IL technology, the viewer may only focus on the usable input energy and overlook the unseen galvanic energy, therefore concluding the science to be impossible. Because the only usable input energy is electricity, H2IL have stated more output energy than input energy to emphasize the magnitude and versatility of this energy technology. The combination of electrical and electrical energy is unique and game-changing. It provides a method of energy generation that is not reliant on the kinetic force needed for conventional generators driven by steam, fossil fuel, and wind or water flow. And it does not consume valuable landmass to accommodate solar panels and wind turbines. It generates clean, reliable energy day and night in all conditions and without the need for energy storage. It fits straight into the power grid without main power line upgrade needed to support common renewable energies. That is game changing. Scientists have endeavored to achieve self-sustaining energy through nuclear fusion for over 50 years, 
while H2IL have achieved this level of efficiency with such simplicity. Energy combination at an ionic level is unchartered waters in mainstream science. When an atom is in a stable state, its strength requires brute force energy to manipulate. But when an atom is an ion, it is much easier to combine energies through redox reactions. The input electricity is just a stimulus triggering the reactions. The science is complex, but very logical. Science has changed, and new technology has reshaped our lives over the past 100 years. All because engineers have worked alongside scientists to think outside the box and push the boundaries. Take nuclear energy as an example. Well, since galvanic energy is harvested from metals, a slight comparison to nuclear fission could be made. Nuclear power generation uses an energy stored in certain scarce metals, but nuclear power generates thermal energy, which must be used instantly. However, the H2IL system produces hydrogen, which is more versatile and enables energy storage. So if the main energy harvested is galvanic, do the metals providing the galvanic energy consume rapidly? No, you could compare the life of the electrodes to that of a battery's electrode, which lasts many years of constant charge-discharge cycles. The technology does not split the water molecules using brute force electricity, which would consume electrodes. Also, the electrolyte is preconditioned to become an ionic substance, which becomes more anodic than the electrodes. The chemistry is quite complex, but accomplishing an energy combination at an ionic level means very little energy loss and ease of molecule separation. Well, I guess if the metal rods of a nuclear power plant or battery electrodes can last a long time, then why not this? H2 Innovation Lab has published a series of performance verification tests along with independent assessments. Further verification testing will be performed on larger cells to demonstrate the scalability of the technology. Please stay posted to the H2IL website. The verification reports can be viewed, including an amazing 7-hour small-scale self-powering electricity generation demonstration. H2IL is reaching out to CEOs of major corporations who could be searching for game-changing energy technology acquisition and have the ability to establish a worldwide application. If you have contact, then please forward on this information to them. Thank you for watching. If you found this of interest, then you will want to view the extensive verification reports published on the H2 Innovation Lab website, along with possible game-changing applications for this revolutionary energy technology.